Just a quick video regarding the Brother FB100, the floppy disk drive. This is a drive that I bought off Facebook Marketplace. I already have one um, that you've already seen in my other videos. Um, but I bought myself a spare just in case. You know, you never know with these old things. So at least I'll have a spare one. Um, and although I didn't pay much for it, £20 was all I paid. Um, many times these things don't work. And it's not that they're detrimentally damaged. It's just usually a common problem. Um, one of them being the fuse can blow like it has in this case and the fuse is located as soon as you take the top cover off and grab hold of it here it's on the board here where the battery compartment is at the side the same side as the battery compartment and it, the fuse is on these two terminals here located just behind this board that has the low battery indicator light and the um, on off switch so the fuse can go Another reason is the belt is either snapped or damaged or just stretched out. So as you can see with this one here, there is no tension on that belt anymore. It's just completely loose and just sagging and sitting there. And this will not work. It won't read a disc or format it or whatever um, because there's just no tension on it. It needs tension. Um, so although it's not broken, um, this it's stretched out a bit like on a vacuum cleaner. Um, over time, the belt stretches and then the brush roll won't spin any longer when it touches the carpet because of the resistance. Um, although Brother don't make parts for the knitting machine things anymore, you can buy them from this website if you're in the UK. There's probably other places you can buy them if you're in another country. Um, USA, Australia, whatever. But in the UK, this is the place where you can get these belts from. And it's just essentially a rubber band. I heard that some people use a rubber band to replace them with. Um, I think these are about £7 for one, so um, they're not too expensive. Um, now I've got this all apart already. I won't show you how to change the belt because um, Diana Sullivan has a great video on that already. So um, if you need to know how to replace the belt, go and watch Diana Sullivan's video on the belt change on a FB100 disk drive. But anyway, um, other than the belt issue that you may already know about, um, do check the fuse as well because that can go. And there are also a number of capacitors as well and um, modular type connections which may have come loose. Um, so do check those. But uh, more often than not, it's the belt. But of course, as I said, a fuse is um, a second port of call. And also, if you're running your FB100 on batteries, check the battery compartment because people tend to leave batteries in things um, annoyingly and they can corrode and leak. And uh, just check. You can see this one's got a bit of build up on it, actually. It's not too bad. But give those a clean with some alcohol. Um, rubbing alcohol, surgical spirit, whatever, and then um, you'll get those as good as new, and hopefully your disk drive will continue working. They are quite reliable, I've found, these disk drives, but um, if they're left unloved and um, not maintained, um, they can go wrong, but most of the time they're okay, in my experience. But yeah, just um, a quick little video if you're having trouble with your disk drive.